Hello and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation Course on Enhanced Environments. This is part three of a four-part series for the Attribute Exchange section of the course covering Attribute Exchange for AutoCAD applications. In this section of the course, the process of creating AutoCAD Title Block, Attribute Exchange Rule Classes, Attribute Bindings, and AutoCAD Drawing Requirements will be reviewed. The benefits of this feature are, with Attribute Exchange enabled and linked to the AutoCAD block objects, the current metadata stored in ProjectWise will be shown in the drawing after opening. With Attribute Exchange enabled, users can update ProjectWise metadata from AutoCAD, reducing time switching between applications. PDFs created from AutoCAD drawings using the Create Rendition command or Scheduled ICS jobs will be generated with current metadata stored in ProjectWise. If using Workflow Rules Engine, the rules can execute an update underscore TB action that ensures AutoCAD block objects linked to ProjectWise changed values during state changes are updated. During this course, you will learn how to verify ProjectWise Attribute Exchange add-on is enabled in AutoCAD, how Attribute Exchange works in AutoCAD applications, how to create the AutoCAD title block classes and attributes, the setup requirements within the AutoCAD drawing, and how Attribute Exchange works with AutoCAD drawing blocks. On the local computer during the ProjectWise Explorer installation, the iDesktop integration support for AutoCAD applications is required for Attribute Exchange to work. Attribute Exchange supports AutoCAD based applications such as AutoCAD, Civil 3D, Architecture, MEP, and others. The integration is version specific. If Autodesk software was installed after ProjectWise Explorer, then the ProjectWise Explorer full package needs to be installed to add the integration module. Bentley traditionally release an integration yearly for the new versions of Autodesk applications. This is normally delivered through a separate installer, downloadable from connect.bentley.com under Software Downloads. After installation, verify that the ProjectWise iDesktop integration for Attribute Exchange is enabled. When opening a DWG drawing from ProjectWise Explorer, right-click on the document and choose Open With to verify the default application is set to the ProjectWise Integrated AutoCAD program. Check the Always Uses Program option in this dialog to set the program to be the default. If the drawings are not being opened using the integrated application, then Attribute Exchange will not execute. After the installation of the ProjectWise integration for AutoCAD, there are a number of key ends and settings that you can use while in AutoCAD. DMS TB initializes the title block support. TB update you'll use more often. This key end updates title blocks in the drawing with the data in ProjectWise. TB Auto Update does the same function, however, it is used by the Attribute Bulk Update tool. TB Update DMS updates the data in ProjectWise with the content of the title blocks in the drawing. TB Auto Update DMS, again, performs the same function, but is used by the Attribute Bulk Update tool. TB Insert will insert the title block in the drawing. TB update on open is a setting instructing AutoCAD to perform the title block update when documents are open. Attribute exchange rules and settings for AutoCAD applications are administered within ProjectWise Administrator. It is located under the Attribute Exchange Rules node called AutoCAD Title Blocks. For AutoCAD applications, when creating an attribute class, the name must match an attributed block within the drawing. Attribute Exchange will search the drawings for all blocks that match any of the AutoCAD title block classes. For example, a class could be created for an attributed block for title block information, and another class could be created for an attributed block for station offset match lines. The attributes contained in the AutoCAD title block class, their name must match the attribute attached to the block definition in the drawing. To create an attribute, you'd right-click on the attribute class node representing the block definition. 
choose new attribute to kick off the attribute wizard. You'd enter a name for the attribute, for example, sheet underscore no. This will be the name of the attribute and the block definition. Click add to choose the project wise property type and property to bind to this attribute. For example, sheet underscore no attribute will be bound to the my company environment sheet no attribute. Once the project wise property is chosen, it cannot be changed. To make adjustments, highlight the property, click remove, then click add again. The next dialog will allow formatting of the data. For string data formatting, the options are to trim the space characters from the data. For date data, the formatting option will be how to display month, day, year. Unlike Attribute Exchange for Microsoft Office applications, the target objects in the AutoCAD drawings have no special link created. The block in the attribute names are the links. The drawing is set up using standard AutoCAD data functionality. The Attribute Exchange simply locates and populates data in those standard DWG entities. Attribute Exchange for the drawing processes similar to a find replace all command. The exchange searches for all blocks in the drawing, model or layouts, matching the first AutoCAD title block class name. Finds all attributes in the block that matches the class attributes replaces the value of the block attribute with the project-wise property data, then repeats the process until all AutoCAD title blocks have been updated. So if there are 20 layouts with the same matching block, all 20 layouts will be updated with the same data. For taking advantage of the automated attribute exchange process, it is suggested to have one title block layout per drawing. If that's not the case, an attribute exchange is going to be used for title blocks with multiple layouts, then there are two options. The first option is each layout have a uniquely named block that matches the attribute class for that specific layout. For example, in the AutoCAD title blocks node, there will be 20 classes named title block 01, through title block 20. All title block classes would have the same attribute names. However, each title block number would bind to a different property in the project-wise environment. This technique requires the project-wise environment to store every layout attribute data. Option two, one attribute class that matches a common block that has multiple sets of attributes isolated for each layout. For example, in the AutoCAD title blocks node, there will be one class named title block. There will be a set of class attributes representing each layout bound to its appropriate project-wise property. The attribute names will be something like sheet underscore zero one, sheet underscore zero two, and so forth. The block definition in the drawing matching the class name will also have multiple sets of attributes representing the appropriate layout. This technique requires both the project-wise environment to store all the specific layout data and the attribute block to have multiple attribute sets. For exercise one, we're going to update the attribute exchange settings. From ProjectWise Administrator, we're going to navigate to the attribute exchange rules node. We're going to expand the AutoCAD title blocks rules. We're going to create a class name, title block. We're going to create these class attributes and we're going to bind them to the my company environment property with the same name. Now let's go into ProjectWise Administrator and adjust the AutoCAD title block exchange rules. We've logged into ProjectWise Administrator, expanded the attribute exchange rules, expand the AutoCAD title blocks and there is no AutoCAD title block class created yet. Let's right click new attribute class Enter title block and OK. Right click the title block class, choose new attribute, click next, enter scale for our first attribute, next, add, choose environment, my company, and locate the scale property, click next, next, finish. Now we've successfully created the attribute scale for the title block class. Now let's create the rest of them.
Now we've created all the attributes for the attribute class title block. Let's verify our changes in ProjectWise Administrator was successful using ProjectWise Explorer and AutoCAD. First, let's create a new document using the new.dwg file that's provided. We'll drag and drop the new.dwg file into a folder with the My Company Environment assigned. We'll choose to use the Advanced Document Creation Wizard and set the document code to P201975 underscore MCO underscore D underscore RD underscore 3DM underscore RDCH to represent a 3D model drawing. We'll open the drawing in AutoCAD. We'll check the title block that exists in the layout for values that are already populated. We'll edit the attribute value for titles using the AutoCAD block editing tool. We'll enter AutoCAD for Title 1, Attribute for Title 2, Exchange for Title 3. We'll run TB Update DMS key in to update ProjectWise from AutoCAD. And then we'll go into ProjectWise and check the document attributes to make sure that the transfer of the titles were updated. Now let's go into ProjectWise Explorer. We've logged into ProjectWise Explorer, navigated to Projects, the P201975 Project, Expanded Design, Road, and Drainage and Highway, and Models. Let's drag and drop new.dwg, choose Advanced Wizard, My Company, D for Drainage, RD for Roads, 3DM is already selected, and Church Road. Generate. Next. Next, next. Right click on the drawing, choose Open With, and verify that ProjectWise Integrated AutoCAD is highlighted as the program, and choose Always Use This Program. Click OK. As you can see, we've opened up the drawing. We are using AutoCAD Civil 3D with the ProjectWise integration. Now let's review the data that's stored in the title block after being open. Zooming in to the bottom of the layout, we can see that the data is blank in the title block information. And this is because we didn't populate any data in the attributes after the creation of the document. As we get to the far right of the layout, you see that the sheet number does have some value populated, which is the default value for the attribute. And the attribute default value is sheet underscore NO. This is because there was an error transferring the data from ProjectWise into the attribute. And we'll look at that here shortly. So now what we wanna do is go into the block editor tool and look at the attributes. And in this exercise, we'll edit these attributes and then push those into ProjectWise. For Title 1, let's set the value to AutoCAD. For Title 2, let's set the value to Attribute. For Title 3, let's set the value to Exchange. For Sheet underscore NO, you can see that the default value still exists. This is because the attribute name in the block does not match the attribute name that we entered in the AutoCAD title block class. To correct this, we would have to either change the attribute name in the block or the attribute class. Now let's apply the changes. As we zoom back into the lower section of the layout, we can see that our entries are showing up for the title block. What this did was updated the block attribute values only. So our next step is to push these values into ProjectWise using the TB update DMS key in within AutoCAD, which will push the values from AutoCAD into ProjectWise. Now let's go into ProjectWise Explorer and look at the properties of the document to verify that the title block data was exchanged from AutoCAD to ProjectWise. As you can see, the title block information for title one, two, and three were successfully exchanged. This concludes part three of four part series of enhanced environments for attribute exchange covering support for AutoCAD applications. Let's review what has been learned. During this course, you have learned 
how the verify project-wise attribute exchange add-on is enabled in AutoCAD, how attribute exchange works in AutoCAD, how to create the AutoCAD title block class and attributes, the setup requirements within the AutoCAD drawing, and how to link a document object in AutoCAD drawing. The next section of the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation course will be part four of the four-part series covering attribute exchange for MicroStation title blocks. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.